how to create a code coloring book for Amazon KDP. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a quotation coloring book for free using Canva without having to uh, download separate backgrounds, separate quotations, and without having to pay for any of the premium applications people use to create backgrounds and quotations. So first off, you're going to go on Amazon and you're going to search for code coloring book. This will actually give you an estimate of your competition. So just take a look at the top search results and maybe even take a look at the best sellers. Now what you're going to do, what you're really looking for at the best sellers is their sizes and dimensions. So you're going to scroll down and take a look at their product details. So this book is 8.5 into 11 inches. So you want to make sure that your book is also the same size. That's a very important thing to note. You want to make sure that you're replicating the dimensions, the general, you know, you can pick an aesthetic, but make sure you stick to it and make sure it's something that's actually selling on Amazon. So these kinds of quotation books with backgrounds and text at the center, they are pretty popular. If you want to take a look inside, you can do that as well. You know, this is what they look like on the inside. And you want to replicate something like this. So I'm going to get started on Canva. This is the Canva homepage. And on the right, you can see custom size. And I have input the size. Now, we were doing 8.5 into 11 inches, but you're going to add 0.5 to both the height and the width of the book. What that's going to do is that's going to enable you to cut for or account for the bleed. The bleed is basically the cutting part or the edges of the paper which are cut. So sometimes the design might fold over on the bleed. So you want to make sure you add that into your page or your page will end up being short of the actual size of the book. And you're just going to click on create new design. Now here you have your blank canvas. First off, you're going to go in elements and you can search for maybe a passion okay and what you're gonna do is look for something that has blocks instead of like maybe a image something that has blocks or something that you can change the color of and make like a dynamic kind of abstract design at the back so this is pretty decent but i think i want something a bit more hollow than this so I'm just going to keep on looking. It, it might take a while. Just be patient and keep on scrolling down because Canva really does provide you with a lot of variety. You really just need to look hard enough to find something that you like. So this is actually a very cute design. And if I expand it, it's very nice. I, I think I'm going to go with this on our first page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here and I'm going to just copy and paste it once more drag it here like so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color of these blocks and i'm going to change it to black just so it looks okay when we print although even if you do leave in colored print it's sometimes fine in coloring books if it's for a accent or a specific detail you can't even leave in colors but i wouldn't recommend it i'm just going to convert all of this to black once I have done that, I'm going to click on text on the left and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select any kind of text that you like. So there are a lot of great options over here that you can select from. Just go for whatever you like and but make sure that you go for the similar kind of text. So you don't want one page to have text like this and the next to have text like that. At least you want a gradual change in text. So let's say we're going for this text. Now you're going to add your quotation. So for your quotation, you're actually just going to go on brainycoat.com or any other quotation website and pick any coat that you like. So let's just say the best revenge is massive success. So this is a very nice code. It's by Frank Sinatra. You don't really need to write that. You can just copy the text or you can just type it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete one of the elements and I'm going to paste it over here. Now I'm going to move this to the center. I'm going to straighten it and you might be wondering how are we going to make this a color book if the text already has color. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to click on effects at over here and you're going to scroll down and you can see this effect. It's called hollow. You're going to click on that and you can select the thickness of the line you want. So like so, and then you're going to change the color of your lines. So you're going to make it black. 
like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on elements. I'm going to search for a circle. I'm going to resize my text, place it at the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to place a white circle behind my text just like so. And this is how you're going to add more pages. Obviously, you can change everything according to your personal liking. Now you can change maybe, you know, the overall design, the aesthetic. If you're going for something that's a bit more edgy, you can pick a different font. You can go with squares and rectangular shapes if you want to go for an edgy look. I'm going to design another page for you guys. So I'm just going to go and search for backgrounds again. I'm going to go in graphics because that's going to enable you to change the color of the background. And we're just going to take a look. This looks pretty good. I'm just going to change the color of these stripes. I'm going to copy it, paste it. It's going to expand this like so. Make sure that it is centered like so. And now I'm just going to go in elements. I'm going to click on lines and shapes. I'm going to pick out this. Maybe I'm going to pick out this pentagon or hexagon, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to place it at the center. I'm going to change the color to white. And now I'm just going to take a look at Brainy Code and I'm just going to select any code that I like. So let's just see. The best way to predict the future is to create it. So we're just going to copy this code. I'm just going to copy the text and I'm going to go on text on Canva. I'm going to add the same kind of text or you can even just add different text. So let's just say we're going to add this text. I'm going to paste it. We're going to resize it over here. This is just so easy to do. It's just going to take you less than five minutes to design each page. And once you get the hang of it, you could probably even do it in less time. I'm just going to add some more spacing. And now I'm just going to click on effects. And I'm going to click on hollow. And I'm going to make the lines a bit thicker. Resize it so it looks okay. And I'm going to change the color. And like that, we have created the second page for our quotation coloring book. Now you can even add some pages without background, some simpler pages. So you're just going to click on any kind of text you want. I'm going to actually go for this text that is originally hollow. And I'm just going to write in my text. So you're just going to add any kind of quotation or text you want. Resize it. Place it at the center. Change the color. Make sure your text is centered properly because if it's not, it's going to make it look very unprofessional like so. And you're just going to add this over and over again. You can also change the font, the effect, the shadows, and you can change all of that. But I like it, so I'm going to just add this again. I'm going to gradually decrease the size to make the page look a bit dynamic. It's going to keep on doing this like so. You're going to keep on adding your text, making sure it's centered along the way. Now I'm just going to change up the distance. So make sure all of them are at equal distances from each other. And like so, you have created another page design which isn't you know very basic and it's not something that you're going to see a lot on other coloring pages so that's going to be something that's going to make your kdp book stand out from the rest because there is a lot of saturation in this market so i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and now you're able to create your quotation coloring book using canva without having to use five or six different kinds of applications and you can start earning a lot of passive income using this quotation coloring book. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.